Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rodney Koto, and then this channel is all about sharing information on scholarship and also other educational matters. I also share my travel experiences um, around Europe as I'm now studying at the National University of Ireland in Galway. So today I'm going to share with you guys a very interesting scholarship. This is the scholarship that I'm actually using. It's a fully funded scholarship, all expenses paid. So uh, we're going to get on it very quickly. So it is the Ireland Fellows Program which has actually a multiple of scholarships within it depending on the country where you are applying from I'm just going to put this here so for example we have um ireland fellows program for africa the countries that are eligible here you're going to read i'm going to paste the description uh, i mean the link on the description box you have for palestine you have for vietnam you have for the um small islands you have for kada asma for south africans and also asia um, there is also the Courtney Fellowship, there is also the Caseman Fellowship, there's also Frank Ferguson Fellowship in Engineering, Sean McBride Fellowship, and also this one um, about the pilot PhD research program. So these are uh, interesting scholarships. You're going to read more information based on which country you are coming from. So there's also an alternative way of searching for this information wherein we're going to use the, the Canon Collins um, website which is here, I'm also going to put in the description box, at least for those who are in Africa, it's going to be easier for you guys to be able to navigate through. So um, the other important thing that we need to take into consideration is the fact that um, there's a deadline here for 3 August 2022. And also for the Africa ones, there is a deadline for 31st um, oh, July, I mean, yeah, July. Let me just confirm, yes, 31 July 2022. So you must know which country you are from so that you are able to to submit on the required time so for example we're going to use the kata asmal as an example um for for the purpose of this video so as i've said it's fully funded um in terms of eligibility you'll have to click on the guidelines here you're going to know everything what is needed about this um scholarship and if you are not sure you got for you are free to can ask me a question so what it offers here it's university application fees tuition fees examination other fees economic travel they pay Actually, they pay everything for us and also the living stipend um, and the closing date is the 3rd of August 2022. So going forth to going back to the one for um, the Africa general one. Um, so this one, there's also information on what is it that they require from you and, um, and that you should be available to start your program next year 2023 um, from August there. Um, to September and also choosing the program that you want to do. So you're going to click here. There are programs that you can do. So please read this information because your life depends on it. So the, as you can see that the strengths included, it's like these are different scholarships, but it's the same scholarship, just different countries. And then information is available here, the programs, the universities that you can study at and everything you need to know. So please read this information so that you are able to select the program that you're interested in um, which is a one-year master's program at the university of your choice so there's information on different um, fields just like this climate change and resilience so you're going to see different programs here one year and then what is it that they need and also the issues of the ILETS, the ILETS, the international language international international english language testing systems um which there are scores that are needed in here so but the nice thing about this is that they pay for your english examination provided you progress to the stage of the interview so um it's an interesting program guys i i i'm using it right now so i'm talking about something that i know so um application wise so if for example if you click here and says apply it's going to take you to this login re, re, login and register but obviously if you have never applied before you can just register but because i've been here um for example let's just do like this and see how it goes. No, I made a mistake there. Um, okay. This is a very, very good program, I tell you. Please just make sure that you guys apply for it um, and see how it actually goes. So let's just try to log in here. And then, so you're gonna, it's gonna take you into this portal and then you click here to review application, name your application. You can just name, maybe for example, like Kada Asmal, or you can even say Africa Island Fellows and then it says create it's going to create over here yes you just click on here and then you're going to start to populate your information your personal information you know but the stage one the nice thing is that they are actually just trying to to get to know you you know 
trying to see if you are you will be able to um, qualify and also the documents that are needed here you're going to read and they're going to tell you what is it that you must put on this end so your academic transcript your passport your id your copies of your degree and you will also be expected to oh no oh no what's wrong now let's see okay oh no bye okay oh i've just gone back so 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 basically like you are just going to 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 populate your information on in terms of like what is it that they need um from you so it's a very 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 easy task for you to do and then so i will just advise that please just make it a point that you apply for this awesome awesome scholarship all right so you come here yes so these are the information that you need your masters you're going to choose two masters programs your motivation why do you feel that you should be considered for this scholarship and then that's it so it's as simple as that okay so so that's the information that is available for you if you meet all the requirements gonna show all documents here there's also stigma i think like it also depends on different countries wherein you will be expected maybe to come to at least complete this application form and email it but that one you should also check first which country um applies those um aspects where you need to type in this application form as you can see over here which you will be expected to email to the contact personnel within at the embassies from your different countries so just know um where you 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 are supposed to to do these things and you are good to go right um so that's that guys please read the information you will understand everything that is expected and then if you need assistance just make sure that you contact me so all the best guys in your application this is a great scholarship go and apply for stage one and then when you make it to stage number two that's what you're going to do a detailed application and thereafter you'll be expected to do the interviews so all the best and i'm hoping that i'm going to talk to you guys very soon so if you're interested in the information that i share in here you can just subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that next time i upload a video you'll be the first one to know so all the best guys